Good morning, everyone. Welcome back or to my channel. It is Fe Wednesday, February 8th, and I wanted to film a um, day in my life of working from home video because I've never done this kind of video before and I just love watching them whether it's like through TikTok or YouTube and it's just motivating so I also feel like this is going to get me extra focus today if I know that I'm also you know in the process of filming my work day but um, I'm actually about to head out to use the gym which is different for me because I don't not a huge fan of getting up early in the morning to use the gym like I'm more of a night gym person but again I feel like it would be nice to kind of build the momentum and stay like extra clear-minded and focused for when I actually hop into my work so far I've just checked my emails and my slack messages and things of that sort but yeah haven't uh, dived in yet or dove in yet um but this is my gym outfit i'm probably just going to be there for like around 30 minutes because i like to do 15 or 20 minutes of cardio and then some weight stuff or dumbbell like exercises and this top i actually bought it as part of a set i could not find the bottoms that which like are literally like this size um uh, they're biker shorts but i couldn't find it um so i just wore the top and this is from spiritual or no, not spiritual, Girlfriend Collective. I just really liked the color. Um, and then these uh, biker shorts, they're very soft. They're more like on the fabric side. Um, so I can't do like anything intense in this, but this is from Aritzia, the TNA, Tina, Tina brand. But yep, so I'm gonna put on my shoes, grab my water and my earphones, my keys, and I'll see you in the gym. wrapping up my workout today with this video that i found a few days ago um by san Villette. i don't know if i said her last name right but i watch her youtube videos and this one had a lot of great comments about like the progress that it does for their bodies and i love a good ab workout so this is my second day doing it this week so we shall see Okay, so I just finished uh, my shower and I it's almost 12, it's about 11.40. I have not gotten anything into my stomach yet um, except for water, but I'm going to, I just finished boiling some water and I'm going to make myself some coffee. The coffee that I drink every morning is instant coffee actually i really like instant coffee maybe it's the kind that i'm getting but the one that i'm currently using is from whole foods let me show you uh, okay. so i use this 100 percent um arabica beans instant coffee vienna roast this is the version and it's kind of closer to the dark side and as my sweetener i use this blue agave which i got from costco in a bundle and last but not least arguably the most important part is my uh, silk dairy-free creamer. This is my favorite kind of creamer. You can get it in like the vanilla flavor, which I have before. When I get it in vanilla, I don't have to sweeten the coffee because obviously the vanilla flavor is already pretty sweet, um, but this is just the original. Um, so I'm going to use this little cup. I have like a collection of mugs, so this is the one I'm using today. I usually just put my um, coffee beans in first and then I don't overdo it I just do that and then do like two seconds of pour here and it's kind of a light pour like so and then kind of fill this up with water like halfway so that I leave room for my creamer Shake it well. 
and try not to it's so easy to overdo it with my creamer but make sure to not do that and then i'm just gonna grab my little teaspoon mix it and now i gotta brush my hair put on something other than this row because i have a 12 p.m check-in meeting with my teammate um but it should be just casual so that's nice but gotta get ready so cheers so clearly i need to get myself a desk to work on um and i that's the plan actually in the coming days but i'm kind of conflicted because the apartment i'm staying at right now my lease ends in a little less than two months and trying to figure out if it makes sense to just like have a desk before my lease ends because then i just have to like take it apart and move it if I choose to not extend this lease. So those things are still in the works. So for now, I'm using my coffee table and I'm sitting on the ground and I've been kind of used to it actually, but probably not the best for you. It's probably not the best for my back, um, but that's why I've been trying to be mindful of just stretching more every day and doing my yoga and just like taking breaks throughout my work day. But anyways, I am um, just finished my meeting with my coworker and it was great as usual. I uh, don't have another meeting until two and that's the check-in with my manager, my weekly check-in. So just gonna get some tasks done and I'm actually gonna answer a survey right now for my role. Hello friends, so clearly I didn't get a chance to finish recording my vlog from yesterday, but essentially I finished up some of my work tasks by 6, 6.30 and I ended up um, doing a quick trip to the mall just to get some things for Valentine's Day and it was only there for like an hour, so I wanted to actually give you a little sneak peek, show you what some of the things that I got. Um, I went with my mom and then we came back to my apartment. She made dumplings for me and my aunt came over. So we just had dinner, chatted, um, and then they stayed over pretty late. So by the time we left, I just didn't have energy to finish um, off this vlog. So I wanted to quickly share what I got and then wrap up for you all. So I've been looking for a cute like sandal heel like a thicker heel pair of shoes for dinners or night out nights out and i just really like this color and never really had something that was like this kind of band like the braids really liked it got this from h and um this was also like the only open-toed like heels or shoes that they currently had on the shelves so i'm definitely wearing this this weekend and I just think that it'll like really go well with like a pair of jeans or with something a bit more fancy like a bodycon dress. So this is, and it was great because I went to the mall in search of like heels anyways. So, and these are actually really comfy. Let me put them on. So our size eight 
and yeah and i love that it gives me that extra height but obviously pay no mind to my sweats because i wouldn't be wearing it with these but if you can visualize i just feel like it would be a really good staple pair of heels then i got this beaut from the sales rack at zara as you can tell it's a size small um oh you can't okay the sleeve is like rolled in there but um i just i don't really have a lot of like dresses that are long sleeved and just like have this kind of um material it's like shiny let me get the sleeve rolled out um but i really like this color it's perfect for valentine's day um and i'm definitely gonna wear this dress with the heels i just showed and i think that this will be the look for dinner this weekend but yeah definitely happy i think this was like originally like 50 dollars or something and i got it on sale for 10 dollars around 10. Okay, so last but not least, I probably am the most excited about this purchase last night, but I went to Barnes & Noble and I finally got my hands on this Bell Hooks book, The Will to Change, Men, Masculinity, and Love. And I've just been hearing great things about this book. I'm a big fan of Bell Hooks in general. I have her books all about love and communion. Both were amazing. Both I want to reread, actually. It's just, she is just such a talented writer who writes with such empathy, but addresses things in such a straightforward, matter of fact way and has a beautiful way of just like connecting the different themes that she writes about. And um, obviously this book is very pointed in the sense of the topic, but I just feel like in every book I read of hers, it always just goes back to love as far as like love being the universal force and um, value and philosophy that um, we should all take on, whether it's in relationships or just how we are with um, ourselves and uh, just our life in general. So I'm very pumped to start reading this book because I actually dropped by that Barnes and Nobles a couple weeks ago and I asked them if they had this in stock and they did not. <laughs> and then even when I went yesterday, they said, yes, we actually just got this in like a week ago and um, you know, copies have been selling fast, which I'm not surprised by. And I'm just glad I was able to get my hands on it before it sold out. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited to <laughs> dig into this. Um, we just read the back of it just, just to give you a little, you know, sneak peek as to what I'm working with. But um, it says, men cannot change if there are no blueprints for change. Men cannot love if they are not taught the art of loving. Love is vital to maleness, to the spiritual and emotional wholeness men seek. A quote from Bell Hooks. Um, so super excited. And so those were the items I picked up at the mall last night. And actually I'm about to head over to Starbucks and bring my work with me um, just to switch up the scenery a bit because I'm always just like on this exact couch right here on this coffee table doing my work but I just I just want to get like a fresh scenery and do it different this time but I hope that uh, you all really enjoyed this vlog and this style of vlog if you want to see more like work day in my life working from home or just those kinds of vlogs in general please give this video a big thumbs up and comment below and definitely don't forget to subscribe that would be so great and it would mean a lot and again thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye